There you are. Hey guys, welcome back to another Moose Made video. I was looking for you because today we're gonna do something neat to the SL. We're gonna change the color of the wheels. Come on, let's see what happens. Okay, so there she sets. Not too bad, AMG wheels uh, from a distance, they look all right. But uh, so if we zoom in, so what we're gonna do, it's got the wheels here, they're kind of silver. Front one's not too bad condition, actually. Um, but when we travel to the rear of the car, we begin to see what's going on here. Uh, see some of the original paint is now finally beginning to flake off. And it's not looking as nice as it should. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, got this uh, Rustoleum bronze kind of color. That's uh, it's kind of difficult to see in the camera, but uh, yeah, Rustoleum metallic. Let's see what happens. And uh, bottom line is, if it's uh, horrible, it's not like it can't be undone. Let's get to it. All right, so. To do the wheels, the first thing we're going to do is I've got to wash them. So I've prepared a solution and a big old bucket here. Got my brush and a sponge. I'm going to clean the wheels really well. That's the first thing. Woo! Sudsy. I like it. Clean, clean, clean these wheels. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so here we see the uh, egregious dirt and brake dust that we see all in here, etc. Now I know changing the color isn't going to change the brake dust. That has to do with the brake pads, etc. So, uh, but still, this is really kind of not pretty. But it does cover that the some of the paint is flaking off. So, you know, pluses to everything. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this last one and we'll get to the next step. Okay, so the next bit is to jack up the car and take off the wheels. Let's do that. So I'm gonna take my jack, my drum jack, line it up now. There is a hole in the frame of the vehicle and there's a jack that comes with it. But I'm going to use my hydraulic jack. I'm going to find the jack point underneath here is the pad. Slowly lift this up without crushing my hand. There it is. Now it's on the jack point. And that's what I'm going to use to lift this up. Just a few bumps. Ought to get us up in the air enough. There we go. And now I'll take my gun and 17 millimeter got it all oh don't tighten switch it reverse there we go and the wheel should come right off and one let's do it down here it's two now i am using a star pattern there we go And we set them aside and I'll do the same to the back. All right. So now let me tell you what I've gone and done. And as you can see, I've got tape on the outside and some plastic covering. Now on these wheels, there's a machined lip just on the inside. And so since I didn't want overspray all on the inside of the rim, I went ahead and I ran tape all the way around on the inside. This is time consuming. But the more time you take in the prep, we all know, the better the ultimate outcome. And so I just have some plastic, tape on the outside, tape on the outside, and anything you don't want colored should be taped. So 
I don't have a problem. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my uh, center cap too. I want that done. So I'm going to paint my center cap and, um, and my valve stem. I don't have a problem. I want it all the same. That's what I'm after. So, got a hand in a sprayer on my spray can. All right, here we go. Light, even coats. All the way around. Just light. Not gonna saturate it with color, just to get a sense of things. That's all we're doing. That's it. Cover it up just a little bit. Surfaces. There we go. Get on the inside now. There we go. And on the inside. This uh, little spray contraption <clears throat> is making a huge difference. I'll tell you. I spray painted many, many things. Some of you all may have experience spray painting things too. And I can tell you. Uh, Good grief, this thing is making it awesome. This color, I can already see this color coming out. Nice, beautiful. Get it nice, even not putting a whole lot of paint. Never leaving that trigger on, just hanging it on. Uh uh. Nice, even. All the way around. Get it rinse, set, boom. That is so nice. That looks wonderful, actually. I don't know if you can see the transformation in the camera there or not. You may not be able to, it may not be bright enough, but in this natural light here. Wow, this is, this is wonderful, actually. Uh, so, coming along, keep going, nice and easy, back and forth. Here we go. Getting all the angles. This is why I like to take it off of the vehicle. And, uh, yeah. I think, uh, we get how much? Use a little over half a can now, is what it feels like. And, uh, yeah. Lay it nicely, slowly. At no time do you want to, it's so heavy that it begins to get a sag, it begins to run. You gotta be careful not to lay too much product on any one space. Make sure we get in between the spokes. Uh-huh. There we go. Very, very nice. Perfect. And I think I'm gonna be satisfied with that. The other thing, use caution, see it's hot. Do not sweat on it. Uh-uh, one drop of sweat, gonna beat up, one drop of water, gonna mess up. So if you're sweaty, keep the towel handy, you're wiping your forehead. That's what we're gonna do, and I'm just double checking, looking at all these angles. And this looks, it's uh, That looks freaking killer. It really does. That looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna do the other. Wow. Is that a lot? But you know, the end result is totally worth it. Dirty hands, this is great, this is awesome. So now, the moment we've been waiting for, what does it look like? You ready? You ready? Here we go. There it is. Look at that. There we go. What's that, there's a distance. What if we go around and uh, we look at the uh, other side? Let's get a little back here. Look at that. Very. Very nice. And there it is. All right. <laughs> That's another Moose Made video. Remember, it's not reversible. It's not, you know, it's, it's not. So if you don't like it, 
We turn around. If I don't like it, we'll see what happens. As time goes, etc. I'm I'm due for some tires shortly, and I've got some uh, other uh, brake updates that I'm going to do here. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Like you know what to do. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching this moose made video.